Are we ready? Are we talking? No. Are we on line? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey there, how's everybody today? <laughs> We're back at the bar. Not necessarily a bar. Not the, not the good kind of bar. But my bar. <laughs> I'm drinking rodeo whiskey. Again. See? You see the little red horse jumping around? It's rodeo whiskey. And I happen to be chasing it with Ice House Ale. Good beer. Good ale. Strong. I don't see how people drink light beer. I just, why don't they just go drink water? <clears throat> what did you, uh, what are we having to eat? We're having, uh, today we're having squirrel, corn on the cob, sliced tomatoes, rice and gravy, crowder peas, That's it. That's all of it. There were sausage and peas. Well, yeah, there was sausage and crowder peas, but I mean, it's crowder peas. Mm -hmm. Like crowder peas, they're good. What's the secret to? I don't. I, I don't think squirrel is a super popular dish, so maybe you could fill us in on the the correct way to prepare it. <clears throat> First, you gotta kill him. <laughs> you gotta take your little rifle out and pop him in his head. And not in the body anymore. No, you don't want to shoot him in the body because it... No, you don't want to do that. You want to pop no, him no, in no, his no. head. Okay. Yeah, after you shuck him out and you get him skinned up, got him cleaned up, you can figure out a squirrel to the person. There's five pieces of squirrel to the squirrel. It goes in the pot. You wash them good, clean them, because squirrels, you get a lot of hair on squirrel when you skin one. So you're going to get all that damn hair off of them. You season them up. I use, I use uh, garlic powder, red pepper, cayenne, red cayenne pepper, black pepper, salt, and Montreal steak seasoning. And I season them up real good, put them in the refrigerator overnight. Let them sit overnight, cover, uh, uh, seal. Well, they don't, because they'll dry out on you if you don't. You got to keep them, hold your moisture on. Take them out the next day, put them in a pot. You, excuse me, step back one. I take bacon, good bacon. I don't know, 10 or 12 strips of bacon. It just depends on the pot and whatever. I fry my bacon to render my oil that I'm gonna cook my squirrels in. After I render my bacon, get ready to put my squirrels in, then I I start browning my squirrels. I brown them, get them a good, a good brown color to them. And uh, after I get them good and brown, then I chop up, depending on the size of your pot, how many squirrels, everything's relative to the amount. Jalapenos, green bell peppers, Sweet white uh, white onions and green onion bottoms, not the tops. And I put all that in there with chicken broth. I don't like using water. I like using chicken broth. It gets everything better. After my squirrels, I do this after my squirrels are browned. Yeah. <clears throat> then you put your seasoning, your vegetables, whatever you're going to put in there, and then you let them cook until your onions start turning clear. Then you cover them. You cover them, and then you got to watch it close, because if you don't watch it close, you, you're going to lose your moisture. You're going to burn your... 
You got you as needed. You add chicken broth, and it takes about four hours for to make your squirrels tender, where you can eat them. Otherwise, you're eating shoe leather. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. We ate squirrels, and I watched my little honey bunny wife and my daughter, and they just gobbled up them squirrels. How do you feel about frying squirrels? Mm, fry let, me, let, me, let, me ask you, let me ask you this. It, it might be a better way to ask no, you. For those out there who do fry squirrels, we don't want to hurt their feelings. No, we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. <laughs> But do you have you ever fried any squirrel? It's a rarity because the only way you can fry squirrels where you can eat them are if they're little bitty baby squirrels. You know, you're a baby squirrels, little squirrel, young squirrel. And you can tell they're young, but not only by their size, but their body color is white. Lighter. Lighter, very a lot lighter. Now those you can fry. You can soak them in milk, roll them in meal, and fry them up, make you a grilled gravy, mashed potatoes, gravy, whatever, and that's good. But if you don't have enough of those, you know, I mean, it's it's a rarity you go out there and you get, you got five or six, seven people, and you gotta have a dozen of these little guys to feed everybody fried squirrels. You ain't got enough fried. You ain't got enough for squirrel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To have a fried squirrel meal.